Yeah, so uh, talking about the test improvements we've been working on, uh, just to mention it's not related to GraphQL and Azure part, but it is, uh, we have uh, some good numbers to show. Uh, we've been working to add the support for uh, running the test in serial mode. Uh, the default is the parallel, which is which allows us to run more tests uh, in the same uh, time. But we found some some things that I'm going to show. Um, um, some problems that we found in the the, the last runs. Uh, uh, some of them are like, for example, the time of the execution. Um, we've uh, realized that some of them are taking longer than it should because um, we found that uh, many process, many steps that we are uh, doing are repeated. And some of them are unrelated to the test in specific. So, for example, if we're testing the join audio, uh, we have to press the button, we have to wait for some things, but in some occasions we want to test the share, the, the share webcam and we have to uh, close some other uh, uh, things not related. So uh, these kind of uh, things make us to decide to uh, try a new way to run the test, make it faster and easier to, to run. So this is like a a uh, pretty common way to run the test. Uh, and this is all the, the steps we we got. So the first thing is creating the meeting, and then the playwright opens the browser instance. Um, and then we have the join moderator right after the join attendee. And then the both of them actually have, have to wait for the read to load and then close out modes. This is like the, the same steps we have for all the tests. So finally, we have the steps to execute the test steps, which is something pretty much specific for the, the test. And then at the end, the test assertion, which we get like if the test passed or not. And then we have to close the browser instance. So if you see like all these steps in the red uh, box are uh, repeated. We have to do this every single time that we are running the test spec. So the only part that is specific for the test is those two steps. So there is a way to improve this, making this change. So before starting the, to run all the tests, uh, we do these steps, the, the first uh, red box uh, previously, and then we run all the tests. So each uh, green box, let's say, is a test execution. So we prepare uh, the playwright to run the test and then we do all the steps and then at the end we finally close the, the, the browser instance. So we can reuse the page and we can reuse the same connection, the same meeting to improve the time execution. So these are some numbers to show you. Uh, the first image is running in the parallel mode the current way, uh, the test for the options button, and it took around three minutes and 12 seconds, and then we got this number uh, changing this way, so it is around half of the time. This is another example for the layout management test. This we got a bit better number, around 36%, and this is another one, for the chat, the yeah, the chat test, which it takes like fourteen percent of the like usual time of execution. So it is uh, great numbers, and it will not block us to run problem mode. This is mostly made to uh, run some remote server or some uh, environment that is like weak, and we have to like run the test. It's taking. Um, how to run all the tests and keep all the meetings in the server open. So this is a good way to run, uh, specifically for CI because we are improving them. We are adding many of tests. We are now we have around uh, 700 uh, tests running for the Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. So it is a really good number. And as we are adding this, we have to thinking 
of not lose the performance of this and on the server that it is taken. Um, so now, taking advantage of this, I want to show you, actually Gabriel is going to show you, uh, a really good way to you guys see how is the test going and how to debug in the best way using the test uh, executions to see um, some failures. So that's it. So hello, right now I'm going to show you how to see the test results of a VR. So this is an example. This is the Daniel Petri's PR. So you can scroll down a little bit and you can go to this part of all checks have, have passed. So then you click on the details on the automated test and you will go to this page. Then you click on the summary and you show you this part, the tests report where you can click and it will download two folders, the playwright report and the test results. So to see the test results of the of this PR, you click on the index.html and it will open all these tests so you can see everything it will, it's going on, on on the test of this PR. So now I will show you this simple test, join audio with this and only. And here you can see all the test steps and then you scroll down a little bit and you can see the screenshot of the end of the test. And then you can see the videos of all the pages that were open when you, when the test was, uh, was running. So, so this is it. And it's a simple way to see if the PR is passing or not, and you can see all the, all the bugs or if the PR is okay to, to be merged. And that's it. Very good. Really nice. So can uh, Gustavo do a quick demo, just to show it working? Go ahead. Okay, please make him presenter. Okay, so what you guys worked the, for the whole week is a lot of components, but all of them was separated, each one de developing their own computer. So what I did was merge everything on my break, and I was not expecting it would work at first, but surprisingly it worked. So I will show you how it's the big blue button is performing now using the GraphQL components. So I will start a meeting here. And I will join with two clients. Okay. Let me refresh to show the GraphQL income. Okay. Here is, it's connected to the GraphQL server, and you can see that it opened 10 subscriptions. Uh, so it, it will listening, waiting for our data. And so what one component that was migrated is the chat list. For example, if I came here and open a private chat, now it, this list is uh, working with GraphQL. Then if I share something here, hey, the other client also received the data of this new chat in the list. And if I go in the public chat and I write something, now the other, uh, the other client is seeing the, who is typing. It's using GraphQL as well. And if I join out, hello. And if I, I talk something, now the data is coming here in the GraphQL as well. So the guys talk that now uh, the code in the client is um, shorter because most of the logic is in the, in the backend. For example, this is the subscription of the user voice. Now I'm talking and it's showing here. If I stop, 
okay, now the talking here is false, but the data is here. And after six seconds, it's, uh, the data is gone. So the clients don't need to control uh, if it should show this user or not, because the backend will not provide data if the user should not be there in the, in the interface. So it's much uh, easier now. And here, who is typing? If I say something, hello, the data is here in the subscription. And after some seconds, it will be, now it's gone because the, the user stops typing and then GraphQL stopped providing this data. So it's really easy. The data is, uh, the, all the logic is in the backend now. And now you can see that a lot of users joined the meeting. It's like uh, 200 almost. And you can see here that it's receiving data, but if you take a look, it's just a number. So if some user joined, the only data they will receive is a new count here and no users. But if for example, I... If I stop here and I scroll, then it will receive the data of the other users. So yeah, that's it. All the components working. Can you hide the chat just to show that uh, it is stopped receiving the Ah, okay. Yeah. Now, it's, if I show, oh. if I show the chat, he create a subscription. If I, these are just for example, and if I hide it, it stops the subscription. So it will not receive data that's not in the screen. Yeah. Just one final word. Uh, this some users think that hiding the chat from the layout will make the client. Uh, a thinner. Now it will be possible. So it's a good thing. <laughs> very nice. Thank you very much, guys.